Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. I decided to do a reading for you about a person, any person that you want to know about. And the question is, who are you dealing with? Uh, what kind of person they are? Can you really trust them? Or is there anything you need to know about them? It could be about a friend, a love partner, co-worker, person that you recently met or you know for a long time. But you want to um, know some more of about them and um, know who you truly dealing with it doesn't mean we're gonna um, doesn't mean we're gonna look for certain flaws or um, something bad in this reading but I felt this uh, energy and the funny thing is uh, I wanted you to see and choose from certain decks today and when I turned the card I said first card on top that's what you're gonna choose from and the funny thing is um, the sun came through on the first uh, deck the sun came on the second deck and then um, the third one I took it out but the thing is something about the sun card <laughs> wanted to show up which means and what sun means clarity so many of you just want some clarity on a person <clears throat> any person if it's kind of a little bit dark in the room, I'm sorry when I do evening readings. I don't have that much light in the room. I'll try to fix that in the future. Uh, but also, I wanted to make something cozy, cozy for you so you feel more comfortable and warm. Uh, anyways, pile number one, that's your uh, sun card that you can choose from. This is pile one. Pile 2 will be this sun card. And pile 3. Or you may choose like that. Just look at the decks and choose. <clears throat> one two or three and let's start with pile number one well hello pile one whoever chose this sun i will try and put uh, the names of the decks in a um in the comment section okay for whoever is interested <clears throat> anyways let's see who are you dealing with, Pile 1? Who is this person? What do you need to know about them? Can you trust them? So I have Eight of Cups, <clears throat> the Empress, and Six of Pentacles. Right away, I want to say, um, you're dealing with a very generous person. If it's your pile, if it will resonate with the uh, description of a person, then uh, most likely I would say, yes, you can trust this person. This person is uh, more or less honest. And not just honest with you, I also see they're honest with... Uh, everyone who they're dealing with or at least most of the people they're dealing with I would say 80% uh, uh, of this person it's, it's truth which means I mean everyone lies from time to time right like sometimes it's unintentional and uh, doesn't really mean anything but here I see most, uh, most mostly an honest person a person with um, good intentions, a person who is willing to help, a person that's, um, <clears throat> even if this person 
sometime um, throughout life will leave this your connection or somehow you maybe you're not that often talking to them or interacting with them but uh, when they back they um, will definitely show you that they care or when they're around you or trying to help you they definitely show that they care so this person who you're dealing with you you're dealing with uh, most likely a good person um, honest person can you trust them when it comes to you two of pentacles queen of pentacles ten of pentacles four of ones uh, you know uh, you may interact with this person through work through some um, professional matter uh, because I see this person could be um, <clears throat> good at something when it comes to money, finances, profession, career they have a certain talent maybe they are a musician or they play some instrument or they uh, have a certain hobby that um, they do but they see that What this person does or how they do their work they do they do it perfect I just heard there could be an introvert as well or like this person doesn't really open up easily only to the people they know and also um, even though I see a magician here I don't really see manipulation of this person I don't feel that energy no yes they could be curious they could be wondering they could be um, mm, but this curiosity of theirs or trying to find some information maybe it's not coming out of a negative aspect it more comes out of their uh, inspiration by other people but by, by how people achieve things in life they're curious for good they're not curious just to, you know, uh, be jealous or anything like that. This person most likely is successful already. Or they have the... Um, I just heard they have the nerve to succeed in life. Like they... They're very productive. And I see they have a very good future ahead of them. So, uh, to answer a question of this reading, who are you dealing with? You're dealing with a professional, um, honest, respectful person. Can you trust them? Most likely, yes. Okay? And um, I also want to ask kind of information could still be hidden from you here or what what this person wouldn't want you to know about them what they don't want you to know about them knight of swords eight of pentacles <clears throat> five of wands <laughs> queen of swords they could be very shy around you or not because they shy in general or this person uh, i also heard for some they're preparing something for you they are have a, they have a certain idea when it comes to you maybe they're uh, making um i just heard maybe they're trying to make a bracelet for you like for example they uh, they work in some uh, jewelry store and they're trying to make a present for you to create a special um, bracelet for you or a ring <clears throat> this will be like an example it could be literally anything here or whatever uh, um, they do and maybe something with their hands or something they're uh, working with they creating something for you basically what they are good at they trying to help you with this or for instance if they are um, 
a doctor or um, a cosmetologist they tr they might offer you some um, like free consultation or some pr free procedure for you to just you know uh, as appreciation for something or just to make you happy to be nice I see this person is preparing something for you if this is a person that you feel negative energies from this is not your pile for pile one you should feel good around this person or you feel intuitively that you can trust them this is if that's the case this is your pile if that's not the case then choose another pile here um, yes you want to know if you can trust them but you still can feel safe around this person this person is uh, i just heard safe heaven for you queen of cups definitely could also be that this person could be a water sign because i saw some uh, cups here and also an earth sign or they just um, in those energies earth and water okay which is a very good um, combination yes temperance exactly as i said combination they are most likely a person that's very balanced or they know how to control their emotions they know how to control their mind and their emotions um, the actual world and uh, spiritual world they they know the balance here okay <clears throat> so very beautiful um reading for pile one well you see as i said in the beginning it doesn't mean we're trying to find uh, flaws or something bad um but here <laughs> the person is actually very very good and again six of cups um you could even feel a soulmate connection with this person or some uh, this person might remind you of uh, your soulmate or uh, somebody from your past or your childhood friend you feel safe around this person or you will in the future very positive um pile here okay Thank you pile one and i'm going for pile number two <clears throat> well hello pile two whoever cho chose this sun card i will uh, write the names of the decks in the comment section just so you know let's see who are you dealing with can you trust this person who are you asking about can you trust them who are you dealing with what kind of person they are okay so water <clears throat> three of swords wow Fire, fire. And okay, let me uh, let me tell you a little bit about this person, so you know it's your pile. Okay, if it, if it resonates with you, then continue watching. Here, a person that might show that they're doing great, or they could. Um, Basically, this person um, is faking it. They're not. They cannot really be trusted. In which way? That and I'm not saying this is a bad person or anything like that. I mean, good and bad. It's like um, it's a different topic, right? So, anyways. A person is hiding their true face behind a mask and why they're doing this because deep down this person is very hurt this person uh, been through some uh, major I hear pain transformation uh, this person more than once where could be betrayed um, also hurt f since their childhood um, they are a loner and they can have a lot of people around them they can have um, many friends or people that talk to them 
they could be very outgoing they could be um, they could have <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> truth uh, they could have um, you might see this person with a lot of people around them big in big company um, friends girls or boys doesn't matter maybe they date a lot maybe they like to flirt maybe they're very attractive here even but deep down this person is a loner this person is not happy as they show they're actually an opposite of being happy um, let me tell you their true happiness is in uh, making other people miserable and this is completely opposite of a first pile because first pile was completely different but here if it resonates with you if that's the personality of the person you're asking about it could be a man or a woman here depends who you're asking about but this person <clears throat> because they're a loner because they deep down they they lonely they make those people being around them they create this circle of people mostly toxic people why toxic people because only toxic people would um, <clears throat> constantly be in need of them they will uh, uh, get used to them their energy and I even heard this person could use other people for their own needs <clears throat> guys if it doesn't resonate with the person you're asking about don't watch this pile this pile is very specific um, and the person it's themselves is very toxic and again if it doesn't resonate with your person doesn't mean the pile is wrong or um, it's negative it's because some people need to hear that information so please go to another pile here definitely a person is hurt deep down they don't show it but they are and they uh, project their hurt on other people by making others miserable making others suffer in any way it could be in a mental way physical way they could hurt others or like uh, not for all of course but mostly mental mentally they make people miserable okay what else about this person and then we're gonna ask if you can trust them okay what else you need to know about this person yes look at this seven of fire mm -hmm. wow um, ironically a lot of people could fall in love with this person they could be very tempting for others because they are toxic and other people uh, could easily yes get attracted to them uh, and why it happens because this person they don't really care much about anyone they um, <clears throat> might run away you know a person who runs away before the party ends like they are the one who will leave the, the party first so everyone will be wondering where they left when they went uh, where they went I'm sorry uh, why they left so they like this um, mystery to create this mystery around them to make themselves feel important okay um, many uh, they may even break up a friendship a relationship partnership with people out of the blue just to create a drama so other person will be hanged to their energy and would uh, beg them or ask them for 
uh, them to come back this person is a runner be careful if if this is a, a love situation be careful not to get toxic to this person especially if it's a new um, somebody new who you recently met be aware and you feel that it resonates with you, you feel that some characteristics are matching be careful anyways now let's ask can you trust them can you trust them while to the lovers three of water queen of earth Wow, unexpected turn of events. <laughs> it's not that can you can you trust them? It's more about can they trust you? And why am I saying that? Because this person doesn't trust you. And why? Because if this is a love situation, then this person is in love with you or will be in love with you. And they um, attach to your energy. They, um, like other people, attach to them. This person is energetically, mentally, Maybe even physically, depends if you are right now, what you have together. Uh, attached to you. If they are toxic for other people, then let me tell you, you are toxic for them. But not because you are toxic in general. Don't worry, I'm not like telling that you are something wrong with you, not at all. Here I want to say this person lost in their own game. They uh, were too indifferent to other people. They treated others uh, not that good. They didn't care in the world. And you changed this person's perspective completely. You showed them how is it for other people to be in pain from them. This person is truly into you here I want to say if this is a friendship just turn it in a friend's um, uh, matter like friend zone here right like if it's a friend then they want to be friends with you they don't want to lose you they uh, want to continue being friends with you if you are but it's like they look at you and they see themselves like and I want to say now they realize, only now for some reason. Or if you recently met them, in the future they will realize that. That maybe you now running from them. Maybe you are the one now who doesn't want to be around them. And they wondering why everybody else was stuck on them and not you. It's like you have a certain key or you have um, a certain explanation to why, uh, like to why other people attach to them and you are free. And it is, I'm not saying it bothers them, it, I want to say they are impressed by you. First, I want to say they impressed by your um, energy, your looks, by uh, your, I even heard professionalism or your temper. You impress this person. And it doesn't matter the gender, if you're the same gender or not, if it's somebody of the colleagues or friends, doesn't matter. It's like I hear they always wanted to be like you but they can't 
because you exist. This is very specific. I don't know how you can put it in your situation, but that's what I hear. So, um, if this is love situation, this person, without any plans or intentions, fell in love with you unconditionally, and now they suffer. Now they suffer. So can you trust them? If it's about feelings, then yes. They do love you. They have feelings for you. But can you trust this connection? Like, is it healthy? No. Because the person themselves, whoever they are, they're not um, healthy. In, in which way, as I said, they toxic. Okay, so I wouldn't say be careful, like if, uh, be afraid of this person. But understand that all this person is used to do is being in certain toxicity. They don't know what's healthy. They don't get it. They don't know. They can learn in the future. They can understand. But don't... Um, push them anywhere. They have to get there themselves. Here I see somehow you opened new realms in this person's life they didn't know such people as you before you are difficult for this person difficult to figure out difficult to deal with hmm. what else finally what else you need to know oh, wow this is such a deep pile whoever it resonates with uh, please comment What's going on here? What what you do need to know about this person that will help you somehow to understand them better or to help this connection in the future. Seven of air. <laughs> Stay where you are. Do what you're doing um, great. What you're doing great is minding your own business, taking care of yourself, uh, nurturing yourself, living your own life. And that's what drags them to you because you're not attached to them. Be detached. Does it mean you don't have to be in communication with them? No, you can. But you're not um, crazy about them or you not only concentrated on them that's what make what makes you unique not in all situations but in this specific situation the more you detach the better you could be very different here uh, several cards talking about it already Maybe you have different religions, different backgrounds, different age, different manners, different way of life. Even your families could be, for example, you had a happy family like your parents. Um, you had a um, family where everyone was there, like father, mother and everything. Maybe they didn't have it or the opposite. Something is different between you here. You could also be mentally different, like your mentality is different. The way of thinking. And that's why they don't know how to figure you out. They don't understand really why you're not acting like everybody else. That's what made you, I mean them, fall in love with you. Okay? Wow, very interesting reading pile too. So, um, I wouldn't trust this person much, but 
uh, I wouldn't worry about it as well because they don't trust you because they trying to figure you out while you trying to do the same they're more concerned than you you got this you already know what you need to know about this person and about yourself. You intuitively know how to deal with them, what to do with them, how to speak with them or not to speak, when to stalk and when to disappear maybe. Because you also kind of, um, I don't want to say a player, but nothing's wrong with that. We're all here. If we call life a game, then yes, we are playing our own role, like um, personal roles. And um, every role is different. Okay. Very deep reading for pile two. Thank you, guys. And I'm going for pile number three. Hello, pile three. Whoever chose this sun card over here, I'm gonna put the name of the deck in comment section for you if you would like to check on it. Anyways, who are you dealing with, pile three? Can you trust this person? Who is this person you're dealing with? And it doesn't matter who they are to you, how much you know them, how long you know them. It doesn't really matter. Let's see, pile three. Hmm. Who are you dealing with? Wow. Three cards of swords and three of wands. Uh, let me tell you, it's not who you're dealing with, but what this person is dealing with. They dealing with themselves and them they are not in a very good stance right now. They could be in a certain uh, depression right now, in some situation, misery, uh, disappointment, hurt, broken heart, or maybe business issues, work uh, issues. Maybe they're moving somewhere or they're planning to move somewhere. Maybe they worrying about their relatives, their parents. They. Uh, something is bothering them right now or they have a certain issue in uh, with, with themselves in their work or in their family that they're dealing with and they're not in a good position here right now this is for you a hint for some this person lost somebody or they lost a house or they lost a job their energies right now are very stressful Okay, what else? Who are you dealing with? Yes, look at this. Uh, the devil just came through. For some, this person could be, have uh, money issues. Yeah, something didn't work out for them. Or they worrying about their money. Or they worrying what they're going to do next. Uh, they worry about their job. Uh, partnerships. Okay. Um, let me ask. But in general. It shows me here and now or recently. In general. What kind of person is that? Who you dealing with? This person, um, mm -hmm. this person is used to certain uh, stability or certain comfort zone. Maybe they were like that before. Maybe life was more or less um, the same, like on the same level. Maybe they had a certain job or, or something they did for a long time. And now suddenly change 
came to this person's life and they that's why they feel stressed because they before they more or less were okay this is not the person who is risky or who's you know will try new things or you know travel around the world even if they will they will plan everything this is a person of a plan this person also could have liked to be alone most of the time or maybe they're doing something like for instance they're a painter or an artist they will be alone in nature painting their paintings nobody's bothering them and then they uh, sell them this is just an example uh, they succeed in something and they are happy and they continue with uh, working on something else that's the energy of this person but currently life have brought them to a situation where they have to hustle they have to change their uh, priorities they have to change their uh, maybe workplace or their country city a change has come and now they don't really know what to do with it it's too much for them okay could be any change any change here okay then can you trust this person can you trust this person wow, three. yes you can trust this person i don't see this person uh, is trying to manipulate you or somehow do things behind your back uh, most likely uh, this person is just you know a very nice individual uh, very helpful maybe maybe before they helped you in some way or somehow uh, supported you uh, i just heard to make a certain decision maybe or more or less things were okay but after this change Yeah. Uh, they could have changed too after this whatever happened. Either they became wiser now after this tower. They could be more knowledgeable now about something. Um, I just heard now I know. Maybe it's in the future when they will deal with this issue. They will become this holy king and this card. This person could have... Uh, if you're asking about your ex or ex-spouse. Or your ex-co-worker. Ex-friend. Somebody from your past. And your connection has... Uh, been destroyed this person eventually will come to this um, agreement within they have to go through this hermit they have to realize what they lost or what happened there why they lost what they lost and for some it will take years for them to understand and um, here i can say yes this is a good person but i wouldn't trust them completely this person could be, have a certain um rage or i even heard grief or some negative a lot of negative energy right now with them that you don't want to be around not because they're mean or they're trying to hurt somebody it's more of a situation they're in they don't know how to deal with it they having a ha hard time to deal with this situation or separation or a uh, loss of something misery they don't know how to deal with this yeah if you want to trust this person or somehow get in good terms with them in the future give them some time they need to realize something here it was like a lesson for them lesson of life lesson coming from the universe karmic situation if you will to understand uh, who they truly are or what's real and what's not real what's important and what's not important and here a person needed to go through this change because they were too much in their comfort zone too much and the universe brought them this tower to wake up 
it was like a wake up call or maybe it's happening now or it already happened depends on your situation but it was meant to be here whatever it is and here again uh, you can tr I mean I wouldn't completely trust I would say here uh, more of you can trust but don't that's what I hear you can trust but don't don't trust them all your life or don't put your life in their hands no yes they in general a good person but when things are good but when things are going wrong they might not um, hesitate yeah to cheat to do something behind someone's back if the situation is wrong they will try different tools but when the situation is right they more most likely you know honest person yes and now you might ask me how is that how are they honest if they in the good times they're good and bad times they're bad no but this person as i said they will get there they will understand eventually i don't know how many years will take them to to realize but all what's going on in their life even their own um, mistakes they were needed here for them to realize how this life works and uh, realize their own mistakes this could be a stubborn person who doesn't like to admit their mistakes could also be that way yes it could be a, a, someone from your family your uh, relatives your parents your grandparents your children your uh, spouse your ex as i said whoever they are your friends friends could also be a friend yeah is there anything else you need to know about them Anything else that you need to know about the person who you're dealing with? Ace of Pentacles. King of Atoms. Mm -hmm. Interesting. There will be a moment in the future here. If you're in separation of this person or you're not in communication with this person right now for a certain reason or you got into a fight or argument, whatever it is here. Um, in, with time, later, not now, could take a year or even more, this person will be back with apologies when they will realize their mistake. And it's going to be your choice to accept them back or not, or at least accept their apology or not. Doesn't mean you are going to come together, but they'll get there. If more or less everything is okay, it's just this person has certain issues. Eventually, when things will get better in their finances, in their home, with their family members, uh, with whatever they're dealing with right now, when things will get better they will get back to normal if right now they act weird they may be uh, aggressive with you in some way this will get better with time uh, they will be more wise and they will uh, you know get back to normal and your connection may grow again or uh, be reborn or in some way be more stable okay For some I just heard it could be a potential, if it's a new person, could be a potential uh, relationship in the future. This person in the future may be your potential partner for life. Even. Very interesting. But they definitely go through a certain lesson. Uh, you have nothing to do with that i mean you can be part of it you can be the main trigger of the situation but it's not because of you they needed this wake up call they needed it not you 
beautiful so that's what i had for you today guys i love you all and i'll see you in my other videos bye bye